Hey, I don't have an outro yet, so I'm just gonna get started right away. I'll show you how to create spawners using setblock in this video. Even though there's the summon command now, spawners are still pretty useful actually. You can power a redstone signal when a player is near the spawner, or you can make a really compact randomizer. Or you can detect when some entities are near. For example, this item will only respawn after it's picked up. So let's get started. This one is easy, it's just a set block command creating a spawner of course. Though if you want to adjust it a bit, we're gonna have to add some stuff. So we'll add a zero and replace and some curly brackets for the data tag. Then we'll put entity id colon cow in there. Well done, you just created a cow spawner. Now we want to trigger a pressure plate when the player is near the spawner. So we'll add a bunch of other tags. We'll make it spawn an xp orb and set spawn count to 1. So it's only spawning one entity. Set spawn range to 1. And if you want you can also set delay to 0. But it's 0 by default so it's not necessary. Set min spawn delay and max spawn delay to 1. So it will keep spawning the xp orb every tick. Max nearby entities is going to stop the spawner when there are too many entities near. So we'll just set that to the highest number possible, 32,000. And we'll set required player range to 5, but you can change that depending on what you are using the spawner for. So, when you put those tags in a command block, as you can see it's gonna spawn an XP orb. Though we didn't tell him yet where to spawn it, so it's not doing much yet. To fix that, we'll add the spawn data tag and put the position tag in it. To get your position, I usually just use spawn point. Then you can see your coordinates, then put those coordinates in the command block and add dot five next to them, so they are spawning in the middle. And we'll add dot three to the y coordinate. If you don't do that, it spawns the entity inside the block for some reason. We'll also add h and set it to 5999, so the xp orb will despawn immediately. You're probably thinking, why don't you just use the test4 command? Well, if you have a lot of clocks running in your world, like this one, that will make your world laggy. But if you really want to use test4, you can also use a spawner that triggers a clock, and then use test4. Now it will get a bit more complicated, but it's really useful. I'll show you how I did the randomizer. We need to add a tag called spawn potentials. It's a list of possible entities. Every time the spawner spawns an entity, it's going to choose a new entity out of this list. So we'll create that tag and add these curly brackets in there. In the curly brackets, we'll put type, that's basically just entity ID, but with a different name. Then there's weight, that's the chance the spawner chooses that entity. And there's properties, that's basically just spawn data, but with a different name. In the properties, we'll put the position and age. Now, we'll just copy that three times and change the position a bit. You might also want to change the delay a bit, so it doesn't spawn items constantly. Something else you can do with spawners. You can make a random pulse generator. These command blocks create a spawner that is spawning XP orbs on top of this pressure plate. In this case I used min spawn delay 100 and max spawn delay 200. These command blocks give the spawner a different spawn delay. This command block sets the block to air and this one sets it back to a spawner but with a different spawn delay. The reason why I did it like this is because when you use replace or keep it says the block couldn't be placed. And when you use destroy it's actually breaking the block and that will drop some XP just like ores do. I used to use items on top of pressure plates, but they will cause these error messages in your console. Now that isn't a huge problem, but it will also increase your memory and eventually it will make the game unplayable for some reason. So don't use item spawners. Though sometimes you really want to spawn an item using a spawner. In the code for example, I used an item spawner to detect if there was an item near the spawner. Only if there wasn't, it would spawn an item, but there's still a way to do this. Just make a spawner spawn XP orbs on top of a pressure plate. This command block spawns an XP orb riding an item over here. This way the spawner still stops spawning because there's an XP orb near it. You only have to change a few tags, the min and max spawn delay, the max nearby entities and the spawn range. The spawn range actually determines in which area the spawner is looking if there are other entities near. So yeah. Not a very interesting video today, but I hope it's still pretty useful. Thanks for watching and I don't have an outro yet either.